is Thomas Buchwald from Cologne, Germany. I'm going to answer some questions that science toy maker Slater Arison sent me. Yeah. I'm a teacher for techniques and science at a school in Neuss, which is not far away from here. I became interested in flying objects, aeroplanes, birds when I was a child because my father is a great aviation enthusiast and I spent all the weekends of my childhood on a model flying field of our club, watching the different aircraft and gliders. I am a teacher for children with children and young people with special educational needs, mostly learning problems. They have difficulties when it comes to, to calculating or writing. But many of them are very gifted when it comes to practical working, experimenting. They have a lot of great ideas and so my work is a very interesting work. I have uh, very small groups, not more than 12 students at a time, and that is a great advantage for very productive working. Usually science and techniques are taught, in Germany are taught very theoretically, and this is kind of boring for the students. So there's a great need for more practical working and trying out things, things that, that move, that fly, that have uh, any kind of effect. I forgot to say that uh, my school is called the Schule am Wildpark and our workshop is called the Wildpark Werkstatt. Werkstatt is the German word for workshop. So it's Wildpark Werkstatt. That's also the name of our YouTube channel. Please watch. The most interesting projects we do at Wildpark Werkstatt are walk-along gliders, um, rockets, mainly water rockets, um, RC planes, and candle cannons, or air cannons, also called vortex generators. And uh, different uh, kinds of throwing machines, uh, for example, trebuchets in different sizes. Yeah. I uh, discovered the standard tumble wing on the science toy maker side, and when we did this for the first time, from phone book paper. I remembered a glider, a tumble wing my father showed me when I was a child. And uh, I tried it as a walk along glider and it worked at once. We called it flying fish because of its shape. Later I asked my father about it and he called, told me that uh, he learned it in his childhood, which was in the early 30s. And they called it the Zeppelin then. Say, I used then uh, a two millimeter Depron material and the gliders were quite heavy, so I had to run to keep them in the air. And it was too difficult for my students. Um, we made the next step when, uh, when we uh, discovered the the foam cutting machine on Science Toy Maker. After making the first simple foam gliders, which worked very well, we started searching for different shapes we could use. And one of my students remembered a film he saw on television about manta rays, uh, which are flying through the water. And so we tried out different manta-like shapes on walk-along gliders and that worked very well. So after that we started looking for different bionic shapes and we made the different birds, swift 
and different fish like the moonfish or and a very good glider was also the Pteranodon flying dinosaur. When, uh, when working with the simple foam cutter we tried different uh, foam material we could get and it was just luck that we discovered that the foam of fish boxes worked very very well so that was a that was just luck it's a foam with quite small bubbles and uh, we cut it to a half a millimeter and that is the best material we had so far the one fold camber I used first on the Pteranodon glider. There it is on the outer wing only, producing washout to get a stable flight. I had this idea because I remember the wooden RC glider of the 70s called the Airfish, and this was designed by an Austrian RC model designer called Jedelski, and so is uh, this airfoil, Jedelski airfoil is uh, a very simple build, simple to build and great flying, slow flying airfoil with producing high lift. Uh, my students started creating bionic walk-along gliders. One of them had the idea to make a big Pteranodon glider and that looks great in the air. And after that I made a, a swift and a small Pterodactylus, which is very fast. And the buzzard. Forgot the buzzard. Yes. Future projects for Wildfahrt Werkstatt. It's difficult to say because we don't know how long Wildfahrt Werkstatt will be there because uh, maybe our school will be closed and I have to find a another school workshop to to go on with the projects but what I would really would like to do is uh, is that, what is the word dump machine steam steam machine I think so steam machine and uh, a good and uh, reliable working uh, parachute system for our water rockets so that they don't break when they come down and I really would like to build a human powered boat yeah. future projects thank you very much